out here looking for uh, for a UFO, and I found this glossy snake on the ground. Did not find the UFO, unfortunately. Crazy go creatures, glossy snakes. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Today we're gonna to be talking about glossy snakes, Arizona elegans, or more specifically, Arizona elegans and Bernat, the desert glossy snake. Now there are eight species of glossy snake that are found in the American Southwest. I have been in the home ranges of all eight species, but I've only ever found the desert glossy snake. And as it said in the intro, the first glossy snake we found this year was while we were trying to find this UFO. There is something in the sky. It was in late May after driving home while we were looking for rattlesnakes, we saw this bright light in the sky. We were able to go up to it and film it for about 30 minutes before it eventually came down to the ground. We just couldn't go out and find it. While we were looking for it, we did find this glossy snake. So we're gonna let this guy go here. Just wanna make sure I didn't step on him. Glossy snakes are a very common species out here in the desert. He is very, very beautiful. What a really good pattern. Very cool snake, glossy snake. Found one snake. Finally. It only took a UFO to get us out here to find one. Hopefully he has a good night out hunting. Now the next glossy snake we found this year was in the middle of the road and by the time we had turned around he had already gotten off onto the shoulder, which is a good thing. We want to make sure these guys aren't getting hit by cars. That's one of the reasons why we're driving around moving them out of the road at night. There we go. Oh, it's a glossy snake. It's a little glossy snake. Nice. He was in the road and he's out the road. Cool. Now glossy snakes are mostly nocturnal, meaning they come out at night. They have very large eyes to help them see in the dark that also reflect light, kind of like a cat does. Look at how huge his pupils are. Yeah, they're tiny because of light. <laughs> they also have a narrow pointy head that helps them dig down in the sand when they need to. There's his head sticking up at the very end. I can see his eyeball reflecting on the uh, on my phone. That's pretty cool. The uh, sand's kind of warm. It's warm deeper down. Oh, that's why it's cool there. on the surface. Now, for the most part, glossy snakes are non-aggressive. They're also non-venomous, so they're completely harmless to people. Of the hundreds I've handled in my life, none of them have ever bit me or struck at me. Although they will kind of coil up to make themselves look scary. But they make for some really cool looking pictures, like these ones here that Shane took of the last glossy snake we found of the year. Now, glossy snakes aren't a particularly fast snake. And their diet usually consists of small mammals, lizards, smaller species of snakes, and birds. They are an egg-laying species of snake that mate in the spring and up to 23 eggs are laid in the summer.
Now the glossy snake is a very beautiful, interesting, and common species of snake you might be lucky enough to see while cruising through the desert at night during the summer. So yeah, those are the glossy snakes we found this year. Um, if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, you can give it a thumbs down. I also have an Amazon and a merchandise store in the description down below. If you've got any questions, comments, concerns, or ideas, you can leave them in the comments section. I try and read and reply to everyone's comments. I also upload videos up every day, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Videos when Shane falls down the wash. <laughs> right?